Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be trying hacks for the video. 37 genius hacks to make your life easier by five minute crafts. Crafts, 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 crafts. Bring on the crafts. Okay, so you're at a party and you bring everyone pizza. You're distracted talking on your phone, and everyone grabs a slice. Then you look, and there's none left for you. Oh man, what the? What? Well, we have a simple solution here. What you're gonna wanna do is grab your waffle iron, get some pizza dough, put it right in there. Boom, you got yourself a nice pizza base. Then you add the tomato sauce, the mozzarella cheese, some tomatoes, basil, and then you got yourself a delicious pizza that you are not sharing with anyone. This looks pretty darn good, and if you guys know anything about me, I love myself some good old fashioned pizza. Pizza is the best food. If you guys wanna fight me about it, tell me down in the comments down below. Looks pretty good, let's try this one. Woo, okay guys. First thing we're gonna want to do is preheat the waffle iron. Then we go ahead and get our pizza dough. How do I open this? Oh, here we go. Oh my god! Oh, that scared me. Oh, oh, that actually scared me. Well, we don't need this anymore. Oh. And I accidentally hit my assistant. Oops. Okay, here we go. Just roll that out. Woo. Okay, now we're gonna cut down our pizza dough so that it fits in this bad boy. But first we need to add Pam so that it doesn't stick. Looks pretty good. Okay, don't burn myself, don't burn myself, don't burn myself, don't burn myself. Oh my gosh. This is so scary. Close that up. Okay, I'll see you guys when it's done. Hopefully I don't burn it too bad. Okay, it's been like a minute and a half. That's cooking really fast. I'm gonna flip it over. Dang! I definitely think it needs a little bit more time. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty, wow, that actually looks pretty good. Yummy. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese. Oh no, I forgot to add the tomato sauce. Get out of here. I need to open this can. Oh my gosh, oh yes. It's okay, I'll just put more cheese on top of it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a delicious pizza actually. Then we add our tomato. I'm gonna slice it up real thin. Ooh, yummy. Then we add our basil. Oh, this smells awesome, actually. I'm pretty excited for this pizza. And there we go, we have our pizza. Pop it out. This looks delicious. Oh man, this looks so delicious, actually. Let's try it. Oh, yummy. Oh, I love pizza. And this looks like a darn good pizza. It's not bad. Definitely not the best pizza I've ever had. Mmm. I actually really like this. Hey guys, be honest with me. Do I have anything in my teeth? Is it here? No? Wait, where is it? <laughs> well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I would rate this one an eight out of 10. Delicioso! Hey, I wanna fight! Oh yeah, uh, here you go. Oh my God, that's the best pizza I've ever eaten! Woo! What would you rate this one, Toby? I'm gonna rate this one a 10 out of 10! But that's because I've never had pizza before. Ha <laughs> ha! Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need are some pencils. Now, these aren't sharpened um, on this side or this side, so I think the first step is to go ahead and take off the eraser part. Perfect. Uh, perfect, don't need these anymore. Now, I wanna sharpen these bad boys as efficiently as possible, so what I'm gonna do is break out this drill. Here we go. Whew, there we go. We break out our pencil sharpener, and let's hope this doesn't backfire. Perfect. Other side. Nope. There we go. Who needs an electric pencil sharpener when you have a drill? Okay, perfect. This looks pretty good. They're about even. Just like we needed in the video. Okay, then we get our cup and fill it full of water. Perfect. So one thing that I forgot to do was I kind of need the cardboard piece to hold the pencils in place. Um, so here's that. So I guess I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and pop a couple holes in this bad boy. That ought to do it. Okay, put these in there. Aha, this looks pretty good. Now all I need is a battery. Nope, nope, nope. Yup, there we go. This is where I keep all my batteries. Nope, nope. Definitely not. Where the heck does this even go to? 
Oops. Aha! Uh -huh, perfect! Okay, let's do this. Okay, and here we go. Nothing's happening. Wait, I forgot the salt! Here we go. Yes! Okay, that should do it. First, I gotta stir it up. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. And a boo boo boo. I think I'm gonna tape uh, these pencils in place a little better. You know what? It's good enough. Okay, let's try this again. And there we go. Oh, wow, it's actually working. Dude, that's kind of cool. I wonder why it does that. If I switch them, does it do anything different? Boom. Oh, now the other one's doing more. Whoa, dude, that is so cool. Holy crap. Dude, so neat. Science, man. Maybe it's just letting all the uh, carbon out of it, like when it's burning or something. I wonder why this happens. Anyway, well, guys, I guess we're going to have to say that this one works. I kind of want to see what happens if you take it out of the water and do it. Let's see. Is anything happening? Nothing's really happening. Huh. Anyway, yeah, nothing seems to be happening. It's weird how it's only in the water. Huh. Anyway, let's do the next hack. So they didn't say what kind of paper clips they use specifically. So I got two different kinds here. We got our basic regular metal paper clips. And then we got these ones with the little plastic around it. These are pretty nice. First things first, I just have to mess up this paper clip real quick. Oh yes, looks pretty good. Now for our other one. Yes, yes, very good, very good. Then we go ahead and get our boiling water. Oh, that is a steamy. Perfect. Now theoretically, these should just go back to normal when I place them in there. You ready? One, two, and... Wow. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty anticlimactic. Literally nothing happened. You guys see that? Wow. I feel really let down by this. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Have you ever wanted your very own boat? But can't afford a boat? Well, I have a solution for you. Instead of going to Walmart and just buying a cheap $25 inflatable boat that's super portable, you buy a bunch of two by fours, stick them together, and buy yourself a $150 water barrel. Cut a hole in that bad boy and put a pool noodle around it so you don't cut yourself. Now you're all ready to go paddle down the river. Doesn't that look like a lot of fun? Oh man, I think I'm gonna regret doing this one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a barrel. And you guys would not believe how hard it is to find a 55 gallon water barrel like that. They don't even sell them at Home Depot. Like I had to special order them to the store and then wait a week. And I was like, no, I need this today. So I did what any person would do and I went on Craigslist. And we got some. Oh my gosh. And it even has remnants of a mystery fluid. You can kind of hear it inside of it. You hear it? He wouldn't tell me what it was, but he said it was non-toxic and I could just rinse it out. But first, we have to cut it open. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my drill, I'm gonna get my saw, and we're gonna go ahead and cut the hole. Let's hope this isn't that difficult. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, this should be a good spot right here. I'm so nervous for this. I should draw a guide of where I want to cut it actually. Get out of here. Perfect. Now I gotta clean all these up. I don't know why I did this. This was dumb. Ugh. So I'm thinking, let's make it perfect. There's no way to make it perfect. Will I fit in that? Here we go. Oh, yep, there's the mystery fluid. This is so gross. It's just like weird, toxic, radioactive slime. And I don't know if I should be touching this with my bare hands or not. <laughs> I'm gonna go rinse this out. Okay, now time to see if I fit. I really hope I do. That would be nice if I fit on the first try. Kinda yeah, slippery still. Dude, this is awesome! I could almost make this into a go-kart. Whoa! I've just been going through a phase lately where I want to turn everything into a go-kart. Then we get our pool noodles and our scissors. We're just gonna go ahead and cut them down the middle, just like this. Haha! Uh -huh. And we're gonna go ahead and put it around the lip so I don't cut myself. Wow! This turned out pretty nice actually. Now I just need a small section. Yeah, that should do it. This is awesome! I love it! Okay, so what I'm thinking is first I'm gonna lay out the frame. Okay, now it's time to screw it all together. Woo! 
yeah, looking pretty good. And it's all screwed together. Woo, let's go test this puppy out. I really hope this works because I can't really swim that well. I need a life jacket. Got our life jacket. Okay guys, so before I set this guy off on its maiden voyage, down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think this is actually gonna work or not. My theory is I'm just gonna get in and the whole thing's gonna tip over or it might work. I don't really know. Anyway, let's shove off. That's so cold. I think this might actually work. Let's try this. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, it's already sinking so much. Oh my gosh. No, that's not gonna. I think I need to flip this piece of wood over. Okay, you ready? Oh God. There's already water inside the bucket. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to bandage him. I think I know what I need to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these guys a little bit wider so that the barrel actually fits inside of it. Okay, we fixed it up a little bit. I actually screwed it to the barrel, so now it's like one rigid piece instead of just sitting on top of it. Let's try this again. I think this might actually work. Oh, oh my gosh. Ready? Oh God. Come on. I got this. Oh. <laughs> what? This is actually working. Wow. Don't mind me. I'm just chilling in my barrel. What do you think, Chris? It's good, dude. I think it's time to take the thumbnail. Here's the skies. It applies me. I don't, know. I don't know how this goes. Ever watch Moana? No. What? Dude, this thing is so hard to steer. I keep going in circles. Dude, your voice is echoing. How far I'll go? I don't know if I really trust going out farther than this. Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. Wow, I, I was not expecting this to actually kind of work. Let's try and get back in the land. I'm just gonna try standing. Oh God, this is how the professionals do it. I think I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going down. Oh my God. Maybe I shouldn't have standed in this. Oh my God. I think it would be more effective if I just sat on it at this point. Oh. Oh. Well guys, I guess we could say that this one, it fucking works. Not very well though. I would probably give this like a four out of 10. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. What am I gonna do with this boat now? Have you ever just been sitting in your bed using your phone, but you have no place to put it? Where the heck are you supposed to put this thing? You got no side table, what are you gonna do? Just go ahead and craft yourself a phone holder. Just get your 3D pen, make some lines like this, reinforce it a little bit, and once you got the general shape, you go ahead and make the rest of it. You make yourself a box. A lot of people are gonna be telling you to think outside the box. I'm telling you, need a box, you know? Just make yourself a box. Perfect, you got yourself a little phone holder. You just have to Make sure to leave a little spot for where your cord goes. This will be fun. Can't wait to have myself a fun little phone holder. Okay, so I don't really have a lot of experience with 3D pens. Uh, this is actually the first time I'm really using one. The Sprout stuff, I swear it is chocolate. It is not, um, uh. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, that's the, I should really wash my hands. Okay, that's better. Um, anyway, I don't really wanna go and just put a bunch of 3D pen stuff all over my phone and then it end up melting my phone screen. That doesn't sound very fun. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm just going to do a general outline. There we go. Because I don't think uh, it really has to be like 100% accurate. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna use this parchment paper as as the an outline for how big I need it to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and thumbtack it down so that it stays flat. Boobity boop. This is the only real way I've found that parchment paper stays flat. Uh, I've tried tape and it just doesn't work very well. So thumbtacks, uh, thumbtacks gotta do. Uh, we got the general shape. We're gonna go ahead and break out our 3D pen. I'm hoping I use this correctly. It says it fell asleep. What does that mean? I guess I have to wait for it to heat up. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be annoying. Okay, here we go. It's doing a thing. It's doing a thing. <gasps> and it stopped. That's all I get. That's all I get. Oh no. This is going to be a long process. I can already tell. It just doesn't want to go straight. If I do it on wood, does it does it stay straight? We'll try it on my phone, okay? Five minute crafts has never let me down before. It has to heat up. Oh. I also bought a second 3D pen, uh, that way, while well, one is heating up, I'll just use the other one, and, you know, vice versa. Apparently, I can put it on this, uh, clear mat thing. I'm hoping this method works. Yeah, double pens! I feel like half my life, I'm going to be just waiting for these pens to heat up. 
I can already tell that this is going to take forever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's still uh, pretty flimsy too. Hmm. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Okay, okay, peel this bad boy off. That's still very flimsy. I feel like I can break this very easily. I don't know how I feel about this. Well, uh, I guess we'll make the rest of it. Okay, so after um, a quick discovery, I'm starting to think that this clear piece of plastic wasn't to 3D print on because now it is stuck. What have I done? Oh no. Well, gotta start all over. How am I so good at this? <gasps> ah! I found this little finger glove that it comes with so I won't burn myself. <gasps> And I just broke it. Wait, no I did not. We are good. Okay, hopefully uh, this will help us out a little bit. Okay, so I finished the bottom and it is perfectly even with, oh no. <laughs> well, time to try and uh, put them together, I guess. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put my phone in as a spacer. Oh my gosh, it doesn't really even, uh, I don't even know if this will fit. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, now I gotta make the sidewalls and uh, hope that I can get this to work. Okay, sidewalls are done. I mean, it's not the best case I've ever seen and it's very like flimsy. Like, look at that. <laughs> uh, oh, no, the side just broke off. Guys, overall, I think I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. Maybe I just need to practice, but I feel like 3D pen plastic isn't really supposed to hold a lot of weight. And maybe my phone's just really big. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't trust this thing to really hold my phone for a long time. Anyway, doesn't work. So here are some fun life hacks that will be useful for you in prison. Here's how to make yourself a DIY knife. Okay, so first thing you want to do is get a candle, light that bad boy on fire, get your toothbrush, melt down the toothbrush a little bit, <laughs> flatten it out using a bottle, and then you use your cell walls to help sharpen it. Boom, you got yourself a knife to help you cut your tomatoes. In prison? Why would you, why would you need to cut tomatoes in prison? Well, I guess we have to try it now. Okay, let's do it. The first thing we're gonna need is my trusty toothbrush. Oh, there it is, Robbie's trusty toothbrush. We've been through so much together, haven't we? Scrub it, scrub, scrub, scrub. This is disgusting. Never underestimate the power of your toothbrush. Cleaning it, I think it's cleaning it. Oh yeah, my teeth feel so much cleaner now. And I still use it every day. Now that we have our toothbrush, I need something that'll heat this guy up. I'm gonna need some firepower. This blowtorch should do the trick. Ooh, fire! I'm also gonna need a bottle of some sort. Boobity boop. Yeah, this one ought to do. Okay, now that we have all the things we need, it's time to heat up this toothbrush. Oh God, it's on fire. Now, we flatten it using this guy. Oh no. I mean, they technically used a candle. So I can see how this would be a little too much for this. I'm gonna go ahead and use this barbecue lighter instead. Just a slow, slow heating of this <laughs> toothbrush. Man, I really hope I don't mess up my favorite toothbrush. That would be really unfortunate. Fun fact, I haven't gotten a new toothbrush in six years. It doesn't want to like flatten. This is taking longer than I thought. It's getting ever so slightly flatter every time I do it. Oh God, I think this might take a little while. I have an idea. I'm gonna try using my hammer and anvil. Uh, not this little guy though. I'm gonna use this guy right here. <laughs> oh, safety first. Oh, that's better. like burn plastic in here. But yeah, I would definitely say that that looks a lot more flat. That's good. Now we have to go ahead and grind this guy until it's sharp. Oh. 
And after about 15 minutes, uh, it, it, it looks kind of sharp. Not bad. Now let's try and cut something with it. First thing we're gonna try is paper. Uh, it's not working very well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that I'm gonna have to put a lot more work into this if I actually want this to cut something. But for practicality use, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. Man, I was really hoping to improve my favorite toothbrush. Now the handle's just gonna be sharp whenever I hold it. That's no fun. Packing life hacks. Why are they putting shaving cream on a phone? I don't understand. So you don't have packing peanuts? Easy, just use popcorn. Put all your delicate glassware right inside there with the popcorn. I definitely don't see anything going wrong with this one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a box. Yeah, this lens box should do perfectly. Uh, yeah, don't need this anymore. Nice and empty box. We even got a little bit of extra padding in there, so that's good. Go ahead and pop some popcorn. Uh, two minutes ought to do it. Now the popcorn's done, go ahead and put our glass in there. Maybe upside down. Yeah, that should help it a little bit. Drop our popcorn right in there. Yes! Looking good! And for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and tape it shut. Okay, and I think we are all ready. Now let's test this bad boy. This should be a good test. Right down the stairs. Here we go. I don't know if this is fair because it fell on bubble wrap. <laughs> Ironically enough. Uh, maybe if I throw it from the balcony? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I didn't hear any breaking. Okay, so I didn't hear anything break when it fell. It looks like it's still in fairly good condition. So I guess we'll just open it up and see uh, if it's still intact. Okay, boys, moment of truth. Here we go. And oh, looks good so far. I'm gonna pull it out. It's still in one piece. Wow! It's either one very strong glass, or I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Who knew that popcorn could be such a good packing material? And it's biodegradable. Mmm, yummy. Okay, so this one looks pretty good. But the first thing I'm gonna need is the intern's phone. Okay guys, so the intern's been here for about two weeks and uh, I actually memorized his bathroom pattern. So he goes to the bathroom every single day at exactly 5.52 p.m. And it's currently 5.51 p.m. So he should be coming out any minute. Okay guys, so we got his phone, and I'm actually going to take it out of the phone case, and then we're gonna go ahead and replace it with my already broken S10. You know what? Maybe we should break it a little bit more. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Next, we're gonna need a screw. Here we go. Yeah, that oughta do. Or should I say, that oughta screw. Oh, that was a bad joke. Boobity boop. Now that we have our cut up screw, go ahead and just hot glue it right to the phone. Oh yes, looking good. It also said to get shards of glass. I guess I could just use this top from a Ferrero Rocher that I got. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that looks pretty legit to me. Now I just put on the case, do the other side. Yeah, I definitely think that the intern will fall for this one. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Hey Mike, how's it going? Hey, dude, actually, before you talk to me, have you seen my phone? Oh, I've been looking all over for it. I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Why? So, so you seem like you've been really homesick lately, and uh, I feel like your phone has been nothing but a distraction because you've been, you know, talking to your friends and your family. Yeah, you know, they're my friends and family. So I destroyed your phone. Well, that is the most stupidest thing you've ever done, dude. dude why'd you take it? Just break it. That's so messed up. Destroy this? Do you think insurance is gonna pay for this? <laughs> Dude, wait a sec. This isn't my phone. No, that's totally your phone. Wait, this isn't my phone. My phone's white. Like, I have a confession. What? What? You've been praying! I, I, I've been pranked. You've been pranked, bro. Can you just leave? Dude, I don't even care about my phone. I don't even know where it's at anymore. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Fun trick. 
like if you ever want to knock on your roommate's door but you don't want to sound rude, I always just, uh, you know, I do it to a beat, like... Anyway, here's our yarn. Here's uh, glass one, full of water already. Glass two, not full of water already. I guess we just uh, dip the yarn in here like that. There we go. Okay, what the heck am I supposed to do next? Do I hold the string in place? I am so confused. Do I just, I don't know if I'm supposed to hold the string. Here we go. Ooh, it's kind of working. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it'll fall out. I feel like I need to attach something to the bottom to keep it in place. Maybe this bolt will work. I don't know why it has blue tape on it, but it's fine. Here we go. Oh! Water is traveling down the, the yarn. But a lot more water is getting here, that's for sure. I bet if I just did this and I held it, like eventually all the water would go from here to here. Actually, I kind of want to try. I think I saw a hack once where they just left it like that and then all the water went from here to here. So I'm, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and uh, we'll see if anything happens like that. Here's a little clock so you guys can see how long it's taking. There you go. Ah, I got this. Perfect. Okay, uh, I'll be back in like 15, 20 minutes and uh, we'll see if this got filled with water at all. There's already kind of a small puddle at the bottom, so <sighs> we'll see. See you later. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Oh, oh. And it looks like we actually have a little bit of a small puddle in there. So. It does kind of transfer water, even if you just leave it, so that's pretty neat. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works, but uh, it, it's not, it's, I don't know, I can't really get it to work as well as it did in that video, so uh, it kinda works. Okay, so here's a fun one. Did you know that you can make popcorn with your waffle iron? Neither did I! How weird, how wacky. I don't know if this one will actually work. I'm sure it will because you're just adding heat to the popcorn kernel, but you never know. I'm pretty 50-50 on whether this one will actually work or not. I guess we're just gonna have to try it. Okay, so preheat our waffle iron, open her up, spray her down, and just add our popcorn seeds. Not gonna lie, this makes me a little nervous. Down in the comments down below, uh, let me know if you guys think that this one will work. My guess is, uh, maybe. <laughs> I feel like it might work, but it'll burn a lot of popcorn. Anyway, only time will tell. <gasps> I think I already heard one pop. Let's wait for it. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Waiting, waiting. <gasps> oh, I heard a pop. Oh my gosh. Oh. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna pop the popcorn? We got one. I definitely feel like I need to move these kernels out of the way a little bit. That would help a little bit. We got one so far. Not bad. We're just waiting on the others. Welcome to today's game show called Will It Pop? My guess is, uh, Probably not, I don't think they're all gonna pop. Maybe a few of them, but for the most part, I think this is just gonna burn the popcorn. You've got this waffle maker, I believe in you. You can do it! Oh, it's starting to pop. Got a couple little ones, I'll pull them out just for safekeeping. So far, this definitely doesn't seem like the most efficient way to do it. Okay, so this is taking a while, so I'm just gonna do a time lapse and uh, we're gonna see how long this really takes. I'll be back. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, and uh, it's been about five minutes. Uh, let's see where the heck we're at. Oh, we did get some popping. This is one of the most inefficient ways to pop popcorn. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about this one. So far, we got a small handful of popcorn. Oh, whoa! Some are starting to pop. But in the course of like five minutes, I feel like it could have microwaved a whole bag by now. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one worked, but it's it's definitely not a life hack. It's not very efficient at all. Whoa, they just keep popping. Oh, this one's about to do it. I can see it. It's about to do it. It didn't do it. Oh, well. Oh, I did it! Let's see if it makes the popcorn taste any better. Mmm, nah. It just tastes like regular popcorn. <laughs> so yeah, I would rate this hack a, uh, oh my gosh. I would rate this hack a three out of 10. Wouldn't really recommend. Anyway, on to the next one. Do you like eating eggs in the morning? Well, I have the perfect solution for you. Just cut off your top for the orange, hollow it out, and put your egg right inside of it. Cover your orange in coals, and it cooks the egg. Mind blown. I really don't know how I feel about this one. Like, it could work. It could possibly cook the egg, but it could also not, and I could get salmonella. But you know what? That's what I'm here for. I'm doing this for you guys so you don't have to, because I'm the life hack king. Now let's try this one. So first things first, we got our orange. There we go, we only really need one. This one seems good. Don't need these anymore. Go ahead and cut it in half. Okay, now we take out its guts. Ooh, yummy. Wait, I need a plate. 
There we go. Dang, these are coming out pretty clean, actually. Looks good. Now we do the other side. Pretty good orange. Okay, we're all set. On to the next part. It's fire time! F -f -f fire time! Fire the wall! Say it again with the fire in the back. <laughs> fire rules! <laughs> fire! So now that we got all that out of our system, all we gotta do is put, ooh, be careful, don't burn yourself. Put your orange peel on top of the burning coal like so. You get your egg, and you just kinda put it in there. Oh, wow, that fits actually perfectly. Let me go ahead and put the other side on top of it. Take that. <laughs> No! I regret my life decisions. Oh my god. I had it so perfect and I had to go and mess it up. Now we just gotta wait for this to cook. They didn't say how long. Um, okay, it's been about two minutes. Uh, the average time that it takes to cook an egg, I probably, maybe, I don't really know how long it actually takes to cook an egg. Oh! Why do I keep doing this? Why do I do this to myself? Wow, that's looking pretty. Uh, not cooked actually. I think it needs a second. It's actually cooking. Oh my god. I can see it. Oh my gosh You can actually see it cooking. Oh my god. This is beautiful. I'm really happy about this Okay, I'm gonna put this back on for a second. Do your thing egg become egg. Wow I'm kind of happy. This is sort of working I really need to stop dropping the top. Okay, it's been like uh, six minutes or something. I don't know. <gasps> Whoa! Our egg is almost cooked. That is beautiful, actually. Do you think that's about done, or do you think it needs some more time, Chris? I think it needs some more time. Yeah, the yolk's not done. Uh, just a little bit. But it's actually cooking. It's not like burning through the orange peel, so that's good. <gasps> no, I broke the yolk! It's starting to leak, but it looks like it's about cooked. If you like leaky eggs. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I think it needs more fire. More fire! Yeah, that, that ought to cook it. Okay, this is uh, about done. Uh, let's go try it. Okay, I don't really know if I'm ready to try this. It's looking a little funky. Kind of smells like burnt hot dogs. Uh, well, I guess we're trying this. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Oh, it's, I feel like it's not completely cooked. Oh my gosh. It's fine. A little bit of rye egg never killed anyone. Or did it? Probably a little bit. For some reason, it tastes like burnt hot dogs. Like really badly burnt barbecue hot dogs. It definitely needs some salt and pepper. Um, but yeah, it kinda tastes like egg. Not very good egg, but it tastes like... Nope. Nope. Ew. Oh. So I guess I'm gonna have to give this one probably uh, a three out of 10. Would not recommend. Uh, don't try this one unless maybe you wrap it in foil or something. But uh, I'm gonna say that this one, not really that good, doesn't work. Okay, so you're out in public and you see a super dirty elevator button. Ew, you don't wanna touch that. A random guy comes up and he's like, hey, I got the stuff. Sanitizers, masks, wipes, you name it, we got it, okay? This uh, man's your hookup. This is like how it was at the beginning of quarantine. You guys remember that? Dang, $30 for paper towels? That's not too far off. $90 for masks? Woo, they're really getting you there, aren't they? But you got yourself an even better solution. Just get yourself a glove filled with who the heck knows what and start covering one of the fingers with 3D pen filament. Slip that bad boy on your finger and you got yourself an elevator button presser. Don't need this guy. Huh. You know, I think it would be easier just to cut off the fingers of the glove, but this is definitely a more reusable solution, so might as well try it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a glove. Now I'm gonna stuff one of the fingers with paper towels. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, get in there. This really isn't very form-fitting to the finger. Well, it's uh, it's good enough. This looks so weird. Okay, now we just uh, cover this in the 3D pen to make our weird finger protector thing. Boop, boop, boop. It really doesn't like to stick to the glove. How do they do it so easily? So it looks like they started out with an up and down motion like this. Oh no, why do I suck at this so bad? There we go. Looks good, now we just gotta do the rest of the finger. This is gonna take a little while. Oh! Ow! Well, it's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with a 3D pen. That doesn't sound right. Honestly, I could just cut the rest of this off. Boopity boop. Perfect. Now that I have nothing to get in my way. It sounded a lot more evil than I, than I anticipated it to be. This is taking so long. Okay, and this is uh, what we ended up with. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but 
I think it'll work. If I really wanted to, I could probably sand this down so that it's nice and smooth, but I feel like that would take a lot of work and uh, uh, eh, effort. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta try and get this out without ripping the glove. <gasps> it just comes right out, perfect. But does my finger fit? Let's find out. And... <gasps> I mean, it doesn't go into the very tip of it, but uh, yeah, you can almost make yourself a finger cast with this. This is pretty cool. And this is solid. I'm actually kind of impressed with this. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Do you just have no place to put your toothbrush in your bathroom? Well, just hot glue a magnet right on the back of your toothbrush. You don't even need a magnetic strip, it's metal. Why would you need a magnetic strip? I feel like this one will work. So unfortunately, the only magnet I really have is this one. It's a giant magnet used for magnet fishing. It can hold up to like 120 pounds. It's a pretty big boy, uh, more than sufficient for what we need. But it's the only one I have, so I guess it'll have to do. Am I right? This is gonna be pretty complicated. I don't know if I could actually do it. Maybe attach it right to the back right there. And carefully put the magnet on. Maybe I should put the toothbrush on the magnet. Yeah, looking pretty good. Very solid, very on there. Maybe a little bit more uh, hot glue just to be safe. Yes, now this is what I call perfection. I even have a handle to hold my toothbrush now. I mean, it had a good handle before, but this is way better. Now let's go try this guy, shall we? Oh, wait. We already have a problem. Oh, I guess there's a little bit of metal on the bottom of the of the mirror. Okay. Yeah, that's on there. I'll try it on the part that they said to use. They didn't have a fancy mirror like I do. Oh god, that is that is stuck on there. This is ideal. Hey, wait, what the heck? What the heck are you doing to my spike? I'm sorry, Kyle's toothbrush. I didn't mean it. Now that I think about it, I didn't even need this spot anymore. This is all I need. I mean, I can't close the mirror all the way, but do I really need to? Now this is innovation. You can keep the old way of doing things. There we go. Yes. Out with the old, in with the new. Actually, now that I think about it, I could put this toothbrush anywhere that's metal. Nope. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> ah, I've been lied to. Alive. But other than that, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one totally works. Is the battery in your mouse just completely dead? What the heck? It's not working! And you don't even need both batteries. All you gotta do is put one new one sideways. Will this work? I'm not really sure. Who buys IKEA named batteries? They're just like, just go out of my way to get some IKEA batteries here. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay guys, so here's my mouse. I use this mouse every day, and I'm really hoping that this doesn't, you know, break it. I don't think it will, but, you know, there's always the off chance. But you know what, five minute crafts, they've never let me down before, so I don't see why they would this time. So, okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and put battery in sideways, apparently. And theoretically, this should just work. Here we go. Okay, so so far, it's uh, it's not really working. There's the there's the cursor right there. It's not moving at all. I think I have an idea. I used to do this all the time with my RC cars because I never had enough batteries for them. Just grab a little bit of tin foil like this. There we go. Kind of ball it up. Probably don't even need this much. And you just use it to help it connect. I used to have like triple A's and then it would require uh, double A's so it just wouldn't work before. Oh, it would also help if the mouse was on. <gasps> it's, oh my gosh. What? Oh my, what? Would it have worked before? Oh no, it doesn't work without it. Okay, okay, so here we go. Add the tin foil, put the battery over, just a little bit, there we go. Put the battery cover on. Okay, let's try it again. Okay guys, so it wouldn't work crossways uh, like I had it before, but I made a discovery. If you just put one battery in, look at that, it's moving, it works. And there's only one battery in there. What? Look, I'll even, wow. <laughs> So I guess you do only need one battery. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say it. This one actually kind of works. Wow, I am impressed. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna need are some pins. Boo -bitty -boo. Yes. Ah, oh, perfect. Grab our hot glue gun. We have to 
wait for it to heat up. 15 minutes later. Okay, so this is all heated up, but I actually decided to go with my original glue gun. You know, the one that this all started with. I'm sorry, glue gun. I'll never leave you again. Good times, good times. Anyway, don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these out. Yeah, like four should do. Then we go ahead and break out the wire cutters. It went flying everywhere. So we got those cut up. Then we get some hot glue. Dab it on there. And we stick it right on my finger. It's as easy as that. Get a few more. Then we do the back of my finger. Same thing. Ah, oh, that's actually really hot. So I guess I'll put it on the needle first. Let it cool down just ever so slightly. And just stick it on there. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty uh, decent, I guess. Then we're gonna get some fake blood. I only need the tiniest amount. There we go. Get a little bit of blood. Dab it right on the glue to kind of hide it a little bit. Anyway, let's test this out on the intern. How the heck do I open this very carefully? Oh my gosh. Mike! Oh my god, Mike! Mike! Oh, dude, I saw my finger did you, did you like four times it's gonna be with a pen! Oh my god, dude! Why? Dude, I don't know how I did it the first time, but I did it three. Oh my god! Oh, oh god! What is this? What is? What happened? It's a. It's a pin. Is it real? What are we gonna do? Mike, calm down. What are we gonna do? Dude, calm down! It's just a prank. Dude, you've been pranked. What do you mean? Dude, you're. Are you not hurt? It was a prank the entire time. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Well, I'll see you later. So now we all know how versatile waffle irons are. But did you know that you can make yourself a s'more sandwich? Just add your chocolate, add your marshmallows, put the sandwich together, and boom! A delicious toasted s'more sandwich. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> this one sure looks delectable. Let's try it! Okay, guys, so for this one, I'm gonna have Toby do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one! I won't fail you, Robbie! I'll try my best! Okay, so I didn't open it! <laughs> Baba Booey. Yeah, let's go! Add our chocolate! Hey, Robbie, do you think you're gonna help me open this? Oh, yeah, uh, sure, Toby. <laughs> Add our marshmallow! <laughs> oh. I love my bread! Okay, now I gotta close this guy up! Cool! <laughs> I really hope I did this right! Just gotta close it all the way! Hey, and now we wait! 2,000 years later. Okay, I think it's done! Delicious! Oh, 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 my mouth! Maybe use a knife? Oh, yeah, good enough! Oh, get out of here! Well, oh, Toby, it looks like you did a, a, a great job! Thanks, Robbie! I really tried my best! Well, I guess it's uh, it's time for me to try it! Oh, I want to try it first! Oh, 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 I'm gonna try it now, after it cools off a little bit. Okay, let's see what this beautiful creation that Toby made tastes like. Ooh, I got some chocolate on me. I feel like it's gonna taste a lot better than it looks. Mm, I mean, it can only be so bad, because it's literally marshmallow and chocolate. It actually tastes pretty good. Mmm! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. And I'm gonna go ahead and rate it a 7 out of 10. If I was a bigger chocolate fan, I'd probably rate it a 10 out of 10, but I'm not that huge of a fan of chocolate, so... Yeah, it's still pretty dang good though. Mm. Oh god, I got my hair. Oh no. <laughs> How am I supposed to turn off my camera? Don't have a pot to boil water in? Just use a grocery bag. All you gotta do is put water in your grocery bag, hang it up on these sticks, put your fish in, and then it'll boil your fish perfectly. Cooked to perfection. <gasps> yeah, this isn't gonna work. I don't believe in this at all. There's no way this could work. There's no way. I gotta try this one. <laughs> okay guys, so I could go through the whole effort of making those weird stick things and then putting a stick to hold the stick in place, or I can just put something on either side. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about it falling down. We got our bag, we got our stick. Let's put it on there like that. Fill this bad boy up with water. This is the real test right here. Is it even gonna hold this water? I feel like this is gonna get really heavy really quick. Oh, and we already have a hole. <laughs> Oh no. I need a different bag. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Oh god, oh god. Does this one have a hole? Oh, I think we're in luck. Oh no, we got some holes. Nope, nope. We got some holes. We have holes. Okay, idea. Duct tape can fix anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, that works. I feel like I need flex tape for this. Hey, flex tape, can you sponsor me? I need any kind of sponsor at this point. Flex tape would be nice. Oh, where'd the hole go? Okay. Yeah, slap that on there. I think we're good. Oh, there's another hole. Just a little bit more duct tape. Yeah. Oh, whoo. It feels like a bag of sand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. It sounds like it's boiling. Oh, I think there's a couple more holes in the bag. We need to make this taller. Hold the other end. Maybe. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And then let me find something for your side. Okay. I got it. Dude, I'm starting to think this isn't going to work. Yeah, I think it might be putting the fire out a little bit. I'm just going to add some lighter fluid. Maybe that'll fix it. It didn't fix it. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one <laughs> doesn't work. What, the, who, how do you find bags without holes in them? There's no way, every bag has a hole in it. Prove me wrong. Anyway. <laughs> Here's how to make yourself a fancy ball. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna need a balloon and just start wrapping your 3D filament all around it. Just keep going and going and going. Just pop the balloon, slide it right out. And now you got yourself a fancy decorative ball. First things first, we grab our balloon, blow this bad boy up. This is kind of big. <laughs> it's fine. Big balloon. Now we just cover it in 3D pen filament. Boop boop boop. I really hope this doesn't pop. This is like hot filament. Oh man, I can already tell that this is gonna take a sec. Oh, I should have gotten a better 3D pen. Oh, so the balloon popped on its own, and uh, this does not hold up its shape very well. I mean, the top part kind of is, but as a whole, not really. So I'm thinking maybe I can blow up a balloon inside of it and uh, keep doing this, and then hopefully it won't pop again. <laughs> I think I might have broken some stuff, but it looks like it's kind of working. Well, don't need this anymore. I guess we just uh, keep going. Oh my gosh. So far, I don't really like this. <laughs> Like, it doesn't seem to be holding up very well in general. But I'm gonna add uh, some more layers and we will see how it turns out. And the second balloon has popped and it is still not very structurally sound. Ah! I actually ran out of pink, so I started using orange. I mean, it's basically the same color, right? I don't know if I just have a really crappy 3D pen or like, cause I've been doing this for over an hour and like, it's just not turning out very well. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. It's a thumbs down for me. Here's how to make a scratching post for your cat. Get yourself a piece of wood, drill a hole for the rope, get an old piece of carpet and some rope. <laughs> Staple the carpet right on your piece of wood. Maybe tie some rope around that bad boy. Tuck it right in there. And boom, you got an instant scratching post for your cat. Where, like, where did the carpet go? There's carpet on this one, but there's no carpet on this one. I don't understand. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to try it. Okay, let's see what scrap wood we got. Yeah, that, that, uh, that should do. Okay. Now I'm gonna need some rope or string or something. I don't even know where the heck I find rope. Just kidding, it's right here. Oh, it's gonna take so long to put this string on this board. And that's exactly why I came up with a plan. Just gonna grab one of these, and also one of these. And then I'm gonna try and attach this to the board. There's a little hole in this bit, so I think I'm gonna try putting a screw through it. This tiny one should do. And a boobity boob. Right there. Just drill this guy right in. It's a little off center. There we go. I feel like I need to put it all the way in. And then just for safety, I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, this bad boy off as well. Ah, it just doesn't want to cut. Oh, that was so much more work than I thought it would be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tape it so that it doesn't move like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just hoping I can still get it on the drill. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my twine and attach it to this hook right here. So in theory, this next part is gonna be really easy. Cause all I gotta do is get the string, attach it to the board. Okay, here we go. Woo, it's working! Woo! Oh God, I think I'm gonna have to do it a little bit slower. Woo, oh, the rope broke. 
That's not good. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, I went ahead and actually hung it up, replaced it with some longer rope. Hopefully the rope won't break this time. That is a hot glue mess. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do this. Oh! Oh gosh, this is so scary. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, it started to spin the other way. <laughs> Maybe that's good. Build some tension. Oh God, it's actually going up. Oh, the more that I pull it, the higher it goes. Oh God. Oh gosh. Oh, oh my God. It's definitely uh, not very neat. Uh, I feel like it could be a little tighter, but you know, I think this is a good method of doing this. Okay, take all the tape off. Oh, okay. Undo our bit. Oh. Ow, that hurt. It like hit my hand. That hurt. Oh my gosh, can we get a replay really quick? Oh, anyway, don't need uh, that anymore. But we do, however, have to make a bigger hole in this guy. Wow, that was easy. Go ahead and put our rope in to hang it from. Okay, now let's go test this guy out. Oh, Angel! This is our new office cat. We call her Gremlin because she talks a lot. Yeah. Anyway, I got you a present, Angel. Try it out. Do you like it? Come on! You like it? She's sniffing it. She's checking it out. I don't know if she likes it. She's like, what the heck is this thing? Okay, so it seems like she's not too fond of the uh, scratching post right now. But we have a secret weapon, and that's catnip. Oh, she's gonna love this. Rub that in there. Okay, let's go ahead and hang it up. Let's see what she does. Come on, you know you want it. It's not working. She likes the ground. <laughs> oh, she's just covered it down. Oh no. Okay, I'll just put it on the ground where it is. You got catnip all over you. <laughs> You're going crazy. Are you not a big fan? You just want to eat this catnip, don't you? I don't think she's a big fan. She's more a fan of handcuffs. Yeah, I've got to say this one doesn't work. Does your ball have a hole in it and it just won't stay inflated? Oh man. All you gotta do is crack open an egg, get a syringe, and take out some egg whites. Then put those egg whites right inside your ball. Just uh, fill it back up. Boom. Your ball's all fixed. Apparently it can clog the holes or something. Wow. I don't know if this will actually work. This is an interesting one. Let's try it. Okay guys, so here's our soccer ball. Oh, this is about to bum me out. Oh, rip. Now we got a nice puncture hole in there. You know, from average use, nothing too crazy here. Let this deflate a little bit. One eternity later. Okay, now we get our egg. Boopity boop. <gasps> no! I didn't mean to do that. Ugh. Why does this happen to me? My room is gonna smell like egg forever now. <laughs> Yummy. Cool. We will uh, try this again, maybe with a edge of a jar. Yeah, that's a lot better. Let me go ahead and get our syringe. Suck up the egg yolk. Ugh. I'm trying to get all the air out. There's a lot of air in here. Okay, I think that's about as much egg whites as we're gonna get. Put this off to the side, and we gotta go ahead and put it in this hole. I'm really hoping I don't break this. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, we got it in. And we insert the egg white. All right, that went in really easy, actually. That's kind of weird. Pull this out. Oh. There we go. Apparently, we just kind of roll it around. <gasps> I spilled the egg yolk again. Why does this keep happening to me? Anyway, we just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Ugh, just covered in egg. Yeah, so just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, you can feel the egg yolk inside of it. Like it's slightly heavier now. Ugh, that's a little weird. <laughs> Okay, now that I got this rolled around a little bit, let's go ahead and pump this baby up. Here we go. Insert this guy. Boop. I don't even know where the hole is in this. Is it there? Where? Oh, it's right here. Here's the hole. And then this is where I gotta put the air. Boop. Let's pump it up. One hour later. Oh, you can definitely hear that coming out. <gasps> I'm gonna put the egg whites face down and hopefully it will get it to stop, you know, coming out. That does not sound good. Oh, it's definitely still coming out. Ooh, 
Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Which is really unfortunate, because I was kind of excited to have a soccer ball. Oh well. Okay guys, so here's our ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola in a mini size. Here's my sewing kit. And luckily I already have a needle that's been threaded already. Let's go ahead and break out our Mentos. And we just stick that right in there. Yes, I'm gonna need some pliers. That is perfect. Open up our Coke. No! There we go. Now carefully put that right over the Coke bottle. Put on the cap. Cut off the extra string. And we're all ready to go! Now let's test this out on the intern. Oh, hey, Mike. Oh, hey, Robbie. How's it going, buddy? I'm just debating whether I want some pizza rolls or not. Would you like an ice cold, refreshing Coca Cola to go with your pizza roll? Yeah, it would be awesome. Here you go, have it. It's a, it's a mini size. Perfect serving size, in my opinion. Yeah. Mike, you're getting it everywhere. What are you doing? I'm drinking some Coca Cola. You just got it all. You're getting it all over the floor. You've never drank Coca Cola before, Robbie? Stop making messes in my house. What the fuck? How it's a dare you? It's free Coca-Cola. Can't argue with that. You know, Mike, I, this was actually a prank on you, but I think you're actually pranking me. I just got free Coca-Cola, and this is my day off, so you're cleaning that up. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Here's how to make yourself a delicious breakfast sandwich. All you gotta do is put the bread, some egg, and also some bacon inside that bad boy. Then it's all cooked, and you put it all together. Wow, that egg does not look natural at all. Why are they putting chocolate on your breakfast sandwich? Chocolate on eggs? What is wrong with you? Anyway, okay, this is the part where we try it. Okay, guys, so for this one, we're gonna need to break out the big boy. Get out of here, little waffle egg. <laughs> First things first, we add our bread, then our bacon, two slices ought to do it, and we can't forget our eggs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and hope for the best. I'll see you when it's done. Hopefully I don't burn down the house. Oh, and it's done. Let's see how it turned out. Whoa! Okay, so my synopsis, the bread looks like it's properly cooked. The egg, not bad. The bacon, I think it needs a little bit of time. Okay, let's start putting this bad boy together. Can we get our egg? I don't fully trust this bacon, so I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. Two hours later. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Go ahead and smack that on there. Oh, that actually looks freaking delicious. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, this looks really yummy. I'm gonna cut it in half. Do you guys cut diagonal or in half? My dad always taught me to do it in diagonal. I don't really know why. Ooh, this looks like a darn good sandwich. But does it taste any good? Mmm, this is pretty darn tasty, actually. I definitely think it's a little bit dry. And it could definitely use a little bit of ketchup. But other than that, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I'm gonna rate it a solid nine out of 10. This is a very tasty hat. I applaud you, Five Minute Crafts. Good job. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> okay, so she's like, oh no, my spoon isn't sticking on my Nutella. So what's she do? She just puts it in her mouth and starts biting it. <laughs> this is a good way to chip your freaking tooth. I bet her dentist loves her. Perfect, now you have a spoon that will nicely nest on your Nutella so it doesn't have to touch the table. I don't know if this is a good use case for this. Okay, first thing we need, tin foil. And unfortunately, I have a lot of messed up tin foil, so I have to get an unruined piece. There we go. Now we're gonna try our best and cut this as straight as possible. No! I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife because I feel like it's sharper. Oh, that's so much better. I thought. Turns out I, it wasn't better. No! Okay, we'll try this again. Back to square one. Aha! Can we go ahead and get a stick or something and just roll this over it? I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter. There we go. Go ahead and roll it up. Whoop! Dude, perfect. So apparently now we just put this inside of a lighter. Boop. Okay. You guys ready to see if this works? And I think I have to turn this up actually. Oh! We'll try this again. Oh! If that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Put it back in there. Light our match. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, and... Oh, it's working! Woo! 
Oh, it went out really fast though. Maybe it's because I was waving it around. I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, now it's not working anymore for some reason. Oh, wait! I spoke too soon. Wow, that's fun. I mean, it works for like a second and then it stops. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one, it, it kind of works, but for the most part, it does work. Very temporary solution, but yeah, it works. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Look, something this fine right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys want to watch me try even more fun life hacks and crafts, I have a whole playlist that can be doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You guys want to do clips before they come out? We got a channel for that right here. And if you're bored and you just don't know what the heck to watch next, you can always click the mystery card that I picked out specifically for you. You're welcome. Uh, no need to thank me. Just click the video. Watch that. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm running. Okay.